Customize the head menu. Learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to explain the benefits of customizing the help menu, decide what to add to a customized help menu, customize the help menu for your org, made for troubleshooting. The help menu is one of the more versatile in-app guidance mechanisms. Use it to help users during onboarding by providing a spot for getting started resources. Or use it to point users to in-depth reference topic for a deeper understanding of a feature. You can see it here, question mark. The main purpose of the help menu is to provide help and to support troubleshooting. The help menu is perfect for this purpose because it uses a common pattern found in most apps. When you click the question mark in the header, a drop-down menu appears with contextual help chosen by Salesforce and potentially your own custom help. Users with specific questions or issues are often motivated to seek out help, but reluctant to leave their workflows. And we don't want them to spend too much time searching for an answer. We want to help them to get an answer and get on with the task at hand. When Salesforce chooses what help resources to surface in the contextual help for this page section where each page can have different resources, we usually start with the most specific resource and end with the most general resource. That way answers to common questions are at the top of the list and easy to access. Then, if users are interested in learning more, they can peruse the other resources. You can hide Salesforce, create resources that aren't helpful to your users. Making the help menu your own. It's simple and quick to add your own custom section to the help menu, so it appears on all pages throughout the app. Even if you have an internal wiki or shared folders, quick links inside the app mean your users spend less time digging around for answers. The possibilities of what to add are endless. Here we are just a few ideas from the Salesforce community onboarding or training wiki, FAQ about using Salesforce or working with customers, price sheet or product list, company directory or glossary, support guidance, a trailhead mix, my trailhead. Think of all the time you could have saved by preventing emails from users asking similar and easy to answer questions. Instead, spend a small amount of time to customize the help menu and empower users to find the information themselves. Your custom help section is global, meaning that the same section appears on every page of the app. Therefore, it may need to include onboarding, help and troubleshooting and even deep learning. Although you can add contextual help for each page, there are some ways to order global help resources to optimize global help sections. Consider ordering your resources from the most to the least, such as common questions or task first, followed by links to general training and then onboarding. To avoid including too many resources in the help menu, consider linking to a parency source that has links to other related resources. Help and training, ACME, company help. This is like an example, how to create an account, how to log a call, getting started. This is like standard stuff from Salesforce. and troubleshooting content should be accessible, clear and empathetic. A good hub experience acknowledges that a user may feel lost or frustrated but always offers options for solutions, maintaining a confident and optimistic tone. Customize the help menu. Ready to get hands on with help menus? If it's not still open, launch your trailhead playground now to follow along and try all these steps. If you're not already in setup, click the gear and go to setup. So what are you going to do now? 
And a quick find, enter hub and then select hub menu. In the section title label field, enter ACME company help. Salesforce recommends naming the section so users understand that the resources are custom help for your org or company. A label appears as you have entered them. They are not translated. Add a custom resource in the label field, enter sales tips in the URL field, enter and then the URL. So let's create one sales tips. You can add up to 15 resources. Items are listed in the help menu in the order that they appear on the setup page. Save this, save your changes, turn on customize the help menu. Now that you are familiar with two of the most common user engagement components, let's bring together information you have created to craft a user engagement journey. I would actually like to see this in action, so let's see this in the sales view. It's a long time to load. Okay, we got it. And then we go to the question mark, let's see. Yeah, now it's updating. SME company sales tips, so this is working. So let's take the quiz. So why would you customize the help menu to X condenser help for each page in the app to add a link to contact says for support to add a section to the help menu for your company's onboarding resources to push updates to the users to add resources about working in Salesforce classic. I would say C, but let's see. So the context stuff is the standard. We can add context to hub, but we can add onboarding resources. So, what information defines a resource in the help menu? A resource type, resource label, resource URL, A and B, B and C, I would say B and C. Let's have a look here. That's the label and the URL. So, the resource label and the URL. So, I would say B and C. 
Let's see if I get the 100 points. And I got the 100 points. Let's tackle the next unit. 